Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo to tell you all about the latest update for Fusion 360 Electronics. Just in case you're not aware of it, you can easily access the electronic workspace from the file pull down menu in Fusion 360 and select brand new electronic design. Today, I'll be telling you about some of the latest updates, which includes gauge capabilities added to the electronic workspace, a new option when manual routing, updates to the pattern command, and the new arrange command, and much more. Let's get started. For some time now, many have contacted us or requested on the forum that they would like to see Fusion 360 Electronic Workspaces adopt some of the sketching capabilities available in Fusion 360 Design Space. We started this process when preserve angle capability was added to the schematic and splines in the PCB workspace in earlier updates. For this update, our team of developers has now implemented inferencing. As you draw lines and arcs, your cursor will snap at midpoints and endpoints. Drawing complex PCB outlines for PCBs or footprint outlines just got a lot easier. Many of you will remember that in the last update, we introduced the option of flat caps when adding lines to your design. This makes it possible to draw planar antennas directly on your PCB or avoid necessary trace humps at T connections of lines of different wire width. We've added the flat cap option to the routing command. Now you could quickly switch trace end types on the fly without leaving the active command quickly preserving your PCB's performance. The updated pattern command coupled with the new arrange command has become an ideal combination when duplicating and positioning available assets into customizable circular or rectangular patterns. After selecting the asset, Use the pattern command to replicate it as often as needed in the schematic or in the library editor. With the assets selected, use the new arrange command to position them quickly into circular or linear patterns. You will notice that I'm using the reposition attribute command to efficiently reposition the name attribute for the selected assets. You'll be saving time and mouse clicks with the new display panel. Circuit boards have multiple layers such as silt screen, copper, component origin, and many more. With this new dockable panel, you can minimize or dock your layers view, providing you with more canvas space to accomplish your design. Remember, that with the display command, you could define layer sets. So switching between top and bottom or silk screen view of the PCB can be easily done with fewer clicks. I'm glad to announce that VIAs have now become first class citizens since they now respond to the PCB workspace violator mode. Traditionally, when transitioning between layers, the attached VIA would comply with push and shove or walk around violator modes while routing. For this update, placing individual VIAs will now respond to the corresponding mode. So traces or adjacent VIAs will make space with the push and shove active you will no longer have to spend time manually making space when placing vias. Vias are commonly used for stitching or shielding. Via stitching on the PCB is where many vias connect copper areas on different layers together. Remember to use the pattern command. Via shielding is where one or two rows of vias connect to the copper port together at the perimeter of some tracks or the copper pour areas. We are sure you have used the phrase more than once, no need to reinvent the wheel. Well, that is the case with this new update. Why not reuse proven technology for your future designs? Save time by using the new insert electronic design command. 
Repurpose existing schematics and PCB. You no longer have to relay out that amplifier or Wi-Fi module configuration you have used in so many of your products. After inserting the schematic, the associated PCB will appear on the PCB workspace ready to be placed. We continue expanding the capabilities of the panels, this time by providing you with more information on your design without having to search the properties for it. Traditionally, getting the device name of a component in your schematic or board required navigating to the component's properties. This translates to way too many clicks. Having the device name appear on the inspector or on the device manager will let you know if the device you intend to use is the correct one at a glance. Creating components is always challenging and tools that make it easier to build them are always welcome. A unified platform needs to keep a unified user design experience. And with Fusion 360, we continue to make this a reality. The Fusion 360 Library Editor includes a host of tools that simplified footprint creation. One of them is called the SMD or Pad Array for footprints or the Pin Array for schematic symbols. After the details of your component are entered, you will have the symbol or the footprint created in moments. The Pad Array dialog box has been updated to match the rest of the Fusion 360 user interface and provide you a consistent workspace. Our team of developers continues working on addressing all performance and stability issues in Fusion 360. In this update, you will experience improvements such as on the move command, stability improvements when using the synchronizer, consistency behavior when using polygons. Use the link in the description to access the What's New blog to learn more about our stability performance improvements. All this and more with Fusion 360.